confidence isn't something that comes naturally. It's something we create and get better at every day with regular practice, much like the muscles in our bodies. There are numerous approaches to working on long-term confidence building. Here are some of my favorite psychological methods for appearing and feeling more confident in public. 1. Confront a fear. Lack of self-confidence is frequently caused by fear. When you're worried about the outcome of something, you're not inclined to approach it with confidence. Until you confront your fear, it has authority over you and amplifies the voice of self-doubt. Consider a fear you've confronted and how you felt afterwards. Maybe you felt free and proud, and you even wanted to do the thing you were scared of again. Make a daily, weekly, or monthly commitment to doing something that worries you, and watch your confidence soar. 2. Befriend failure. You haven't tried till you've failed. To be truly successful, you must be willing to accept the chance of failure. You'll learn and grow more if you fail a lot. Accept responsibility for your errors and use them to move you ahead. Failure may appear to be the end of the road, but it is most often only the beginning. Once you've accepted your initial disappointment, you'll be better prepared to succeed the next time. You'll learn to believe in yourself and your talents by taking risks and being willing to fail. 3. Doubt your doubt. Confidence's adversary is doubt. It keeps us in a state of limbo and, at times, even makes us cynical. If you find yourself doubting yourself, challenge your doubt. Examine the veracity of what your skepticism is telling you. Oh, I'm really not good at this, your doubt may be saying. Whenever you have a limiting belief, challenge it. You'll probably notice that there aren't many facts to back up the dubious claim. 4. Affirm your strengths, talents, and accomplishments. People with low self-esteem prefer to focus on their flaws rather than their virtues. Make a list of your skills, abilities, and achievements. Try reading from this list on a daily basis to remind yourself of your awesomeness. Don't be afraid to write something on your mirror with red lipstick that says I am gorgeous and great. It works, despite its cliched nature. Ask any advertising executive. We have a tendency to believe things that we are continuously exposed to. Your daily ideas, particularly repeated thoughts, have a significant impact on your confidence. Consistency is essential for long-term change. Make it a practice to remind yourself of your unique traits and qualities if you want to be more confident. 5. Embody confidence. Make it up as you go along. Have you ever heard that phrase before? Feel more confident if you want to be more confident. Stop for a moment when you're worried or unsure. Close your eyes and remember a period when you were confident and self-assured. Bring yourself back to that moment by using all of your senses. You'll be able to cultivate that emotion in the current moment if you do this. Take into account your posture as well. Choose a confident-looking and feeling body posture. Next, consider your attire and personal style. Make an effort to impress yourself. Make an effort to dress in a way that makes you feel good. You'll feel better if you look well and feeling good frequently leads to increased self-confidence. 6. Make a reasonable goal and take action to meet it. Your accomplishments play a significant role in your self-assurance. You'll learn to trust yourself and your abilities more if you make a commitment and stick to it. We frequently make extreme resolutions, think New Year's resolutions, that necessitate large-scale change. Then we don't follow through. Every year, People who exercise once a month try to exercise one hour every day for a week or two and virtually always give up after a week or two. We lose trust and faith in our talents when we don't follow through on a commitment we make to ourselves, and our confidence suffers as a result. To build new habits, you'll need a lot of time, work, and attention. Be practical while setting new goals and make sure they are feasible. Begin gently and set little objectives that you can achieve over time. You'll learn to trust yourself and build confidence in what you're capable of achieving if you stick to your commitments, no matter how modest they are. 7. Make a difference. Make a contribution to society by doing something to give back. Consider volunteering or donating to a charity that you care about. Make a difference in someone else's life. It doesn't have to be a significant gift. Even helping your elderly neighbor carry her groceries might make you feel good. It reminds you that your unique choices have an impact on the world by allowing you to make a personal contribution. Realizing your genuine significance as a person will encourage you and boost your self-assurance.